Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me for this vlog. So this is quite possibly one of those exciting vlogs. Well, actually, the, the most exciting vlog I've ever filmed. It's Monday the 16th of September and we are collecting our keys today. It's 11.35 and they said it was gonna be around midday. So I'm just waiting for the phone call to go and collect the keys. I, I guess that's what's happened. I guess they're gonna ring me. But Tom's at work, so I'm collecting the keys on my own and going into the house on my own for the first time, which is weird because we're doing this together and I wish that he was here with me, but, um, and I'm, I'm so, like, full of emotion, you know, like, I'm actually a bit, I don't know, I just feel really emotional about it and I just feel like I want to share that with someone, but I'm going to be sharing it with you guys because I'm going to film the whole thing, so... But we haven't actually got to be out of our flat um, for probably like another week or so. So we're not going to move um, everything today. Because it is my mum's birthday, Tom's at work. Today's not really an ideal day. So I think later on, Tom's going to get um, his brother to help with some bigger things. Because it's just the two of us moving everything tomorrow. And I can't obviously get the uh, carry all the big things down these flat stairs. Because I'm not that strong. So hopefully they can do the big things and then we can do all like the smaller things together. I've never really shown you much of this flat because it's, as you will see in a minute because I'm going to show you, there's there's nothing to shout out about this flat. I mean, it's the reason we chose it because in this area, rent and house prices are super expensive. That's why we've actually moved to the next town. We're not actually staying in St Albans because if you know the area, you know how expensive it is. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So we're actually moving to the next town along. It's only a 12 minute journey, but it's saved us so much money or we've just got so much more for our money. We moved into this flat May last year and we been living together probably two years before that. So the reason why we went for this flat was because um, for this area the rate was a lot cheaper than others. It's so small. It's been like it's stressful living here because there's just no space and there's constantly stuff around um, and I, I'm very much like tidy you know like tidy place tidy mind um, and obviously working from home it's just been not ideal at all and at the moment it's so messy because i got back from new york last night and obviously what happens when you leave a man alone for the weekend he just hasn't tied it up and i haven't unpacked and there's moving boxes and there's just stuff everywhere but i'm gonna show you where we've been living because i think you'll then understand why i'm so excited and our new house is just going to be life-changing so are you ready I actually am a bit embarrassed because it's so messy and it's so bloody awful but we will start somewhere although I moan about it so much we've had good times here and I actually am a, like a little bit sad to leave it if we're like in the heart of St Albans we've just like can walk go and get dinner and coffee and stuff but no more so in a way we'll actually be saving loads of money because you can't just go out and grab food living here as well is also so noisy because we live on a high street and i've actually never shown this because if i showed you out the window you'll know, people will know exactly where i live but now we're leaving i don't mind so as you can see there's already so much clutter just everywhere i'm going to take you to the front door so as you come in we have our kitchen here um, this is just all packing stuff because I've started to pack things up so the kitchen is tiny. Our only full length mirror is here. This I'm just going to put over here because I've just put some washing in and I need to hang that up. Um, this is our only full length mirror in the flat and as you can see this is why I've never really done like mirror selfies or anything because I mean I've got clothes here and an oven here, like what the hell. This was the kind of only place that I could hang up clothes. So we actually built this when we moved in. So this is our lounge area. We've just got like a really small two-seater sofa. As I said, this is so messy and I can't believe I'm showing you this, but this is real life. We put another mirror here just to try and like open up the space a little bit. Also, all of the furniture was secondhand. We didn't buy anything new. Tom actually made that table, um, but we didn't buy anything new because we knew we just wanted to keep saving for our house to be able to buy new furniture when we move in. So everything is secondhand. Um, these are actually from my bedroom, like when I was like really young and they've been in my parents' loft. So we've been using those and then we just built this to hang out clothes over the top, which is actually really handy. But it's not handy when you're cooking dinner and then all my clothes smell of dinner. And I've kind of just had all like my toiletries and like bits and bobs up here. TV and then our bedroom is tiny again. Um, and I hang, it's got this like 
let like sort of lip up here um, and because it's so small it's really handy to hang up washing so that's that i mean these shelves are probably the nicest part of the flat which have been nice and i did put some decennia prints up to to try and make it nice this always looks really dodgy it looks like some kind of like thong or something and i can assure you it's not there might they're my eye masks um because when we moved in this was the only wardrobe in here and it's tiny so basically the plan was that tom was having this wardrobe and then i would have the one outside but he has sort of taken over half of it. Um, oh, the lamp broke. Literally, this flat is bloody a nightmare. Yeah, that broke, so that isn't coming. There's trainers on the PlayStation, for God's sake. I don't know what Tom was thinking. I haven't packed from New York, because I just got back last night. Um, there's boxes for packing. There's just stuff everywhere. So can you see, when I work from home, it's just not ideal. Um, so that is it. Oh, and then the bathroom. Surprise, surprise, tiny. Really messy as well. But um, really not much to see here, just shower, bath, toilet, sink. It's actually usually tidier than that. Um, because it's such a small space, we have to keep it really tidy, but with just everything going on, um, it's not tidy, but I really want to show you. So this is where we've been since May last year, and I can't wait to show you our new place. I've got the keys. I've just pulled up to the house as well, so I'm gonna go in. I'm literally so excited. But they've still got the sold sign up. We need to take that down. This is the weirdest feeling ever. Oh, I can't get in. I can't, oh. Oh my God. I don't wanna show you too much because I'm gonna do a full, um, full like tour, house tour. Oh my God, this is the weirdest feeling ever. It's so echoey. It's, it's crazy. I can't believe this day has finally arrived after like years, literally years and years of saving and living in that little flat. It's all paid off and we're in. Just opened the fridge and they left us a, a bottle of wine. I don't know if they maybe just didn't want it or they left it, but oh, that's really nice. Good morning. I actually am dressed like a, a removals person today. We are in a giant van, Tom's driving, and um, we have done our first load. I think we've loaded, like now probably just over, I reckon just over two thirds, do you think? Yeah. Probably just over. Um, and we're just now driving to the new house to unload, and then we can do one more load. Um, but it's so exciting, it just, it doesn't feel real. I don't think it will feel real, because we didn't stay in there last night, so I reckon it, until we wake up there tomorrow morning, it's not gonna feel real. I feel like we've been waiting for this moment for so long, because I went self-employed um, just coming up to two years ago, and that's when we were actually gonna buy a house. Um, and because of that, we couldn't get a mortgage, because if you're self-employed, you have to have like two to three years of books and if you're employed, you only have to have three months of payslips. So it's been really difficult because we're both self-employed, um, but we've finally done it. And I feel like really proud of us because this house we bought is kind of like our forever home or at least like a good 10 years home. But we're just like, it is though, isn't it? That's what people call it, a forever home. At least 10 years, so we'll have uh, our babies in that house. Heard of a 10 year home. A 10 year home. We'll be at least, like we're gonna be there for a long time and just feel like all the saving and all the like patience and living in that tiny flat that I showed you yesterday we did all of that just so we could save as much money as we could um, and we've never had new furniture everything we've had is always been second hand um, so I just feel like this is like a dream come true it's just us two moving all the stuff today <laughs> we moved the bed frame first this morning and I think I, I couldn't, I wasn't holding it properly and I think that was, Tom probably thought, um, great, this is what I've got myself in for today, but ideally we would have had another stronger person to help us, but no one was around, so Tom's done good, he's done most of the lifting and then I've done most of the packing. But it is, isn't it? Teamwork. We're in this giant van, well, it's not giant, but it's massive, it's got like a middle seat here. We borrowed the van and look, we've got a little padding <laughs> on his little cushion <laughs> yeah put him in his high -vis jacket <laughs> we've just unloaded the first um first run and we're just gonna go up into the loft but i feel like you never really know what's gonna be up there we're going up there's no bodies 
no dead bodies. Moving is the most unglamorous thing. I don't think I even brushed my hair today. I just put Tom's golf hat on because my hair desperately needs a wash and my lips are so dry. I didn't leave any lip balm out and just feel minging. I love that word, minging. Completely empty. I've got to come back and um, clean, so I've just left the cleaning products there, but farewell flat. It's been a blast. Well, I haven't really. It's been fun living here because let me show you outside the window. We're literally right on um, St Albans High Street, but as you might be able to hear, it's just constantly noisy. And um, there's some pubs, um, pubs over there. So on weekends, it's so noisy and they empty the glass bins at like 5 a.m. So it should be much quieter where we are now, but it feels so weird being in here when it's empty. Around here, it's so annoying because you can barely park anywhere. You have to have a permit for everywhere. But right outside um, our flat is a loading bay. Um, so we'd put the van there and left the hazards on um, and left the back doors open and like, was like, up and down the stairs loading everything. Um, but when we just went back into the van, it's, um, the battery's completely dead. Um, so Tom saw a friend downstairs, so he's just gone to get his van and find some jump leads. But... This is one of those things. I think it's about two o'clock now, so I think we've done well on time. Like we're completely empty here now. We just need to like unpack and sort the other side. Okay, I've ditched the hat because I got so hot, and I feel like when I'm hot, I don't like having a hat on. I have to like let my head breathe. Tom's just gone to drop the van back off because we just borrowed it for the day. Um, and now I just feel like yesterday it was like really just clean and tidy and empty, and I kind of liked it. We just had like a few bits, but now I just feel like. There's just like stuff everywhere. The sofa's on its side because the feet need to go back on. You know, I'm just, I'm very, I'm actually quite impatient and I'm just like, everything needs to be like put away and done now. So hopefully as soon as Tom gets back, um, we can start like putting the big things back together. Um, but yeah, so there's actually huge built-in wardrobes upstairs, which you'll see in the, um, what's it called a home tour in a couple of days but we're actually going to rip those out and do our own wardrobes so um we're not actually going to load them up because otherwise we're just going to have to take everything back out again so we've got two rails in here which just isn't really enough we've got one each and as i'm hanging my clothes back up i'm like taking out all my summer stuff and stuff that i'm not going to wear i really like this section those colors are really satisfying because we're going to start redecorating pretty much straight away um, we don't want to fill the rooms too much because it's all going to have to come back out. So we've kind of just based ourselves in one room in the office downstairs. Um, so we've put the bed frame in here. Um, we still need to like make the bed, put the mattress back on. And then just kind of like stuffed everything over here just for now until we properly can unpack. It's really nice and sunny in here and it's like really nice and light and airy. Yesterday when I was showing you in here, um, it was really dark and dull so I felt like you didn't really get the full effect. But this is the kitchen. The kitchen's amazing but it's just again like it's just stuff everywhere. This really stresses me out. I just can't stand having all this stuff everywhere. Um, but I think we'll get, I think we will get everything put away today. I think it's about four o'clock. So we've got still a good few hours in the day. Here's another job for Tom. He needs to plumb in the washing machine. And that reminds me we still haven't sorted this hot water situation out as soon as he gets back we need to get on that just in case it takes like a few hours to kick in i need a shower tonight but it's kind of annoying because i feel like i'm waiting for him to do some things like i can't do some things on my own but i'm gonna get cracking putting the rest of the clothes up and just getting as much put away as i can before he gets back thanks so much for watching our moving vlog if you love this video please give it a thumbs up our empty house tour is coming in a few days time so i'd love if you could subscribe so you don't miss out Thanks so much. See you soon. Bye.